Okay, hello everyone. Uh, let's get started. So in today's video, as it was promised, we will discuss uh, method uh, modifiers, namely uh, what these keywords uh, public, static, uh, protected and private means. Yeah, so if we uh, define a method and use one or multiple of these keywords, what they actually mean and how they affect uh, methods accessibility. Yeah, so if you haven't seen uh, the latest video, it's the right time to do that. So the link should appear now on the top right corner. Yeah, but uh, we begin. Yeah. Uh, so in one of the previous videos, if you remember, we created a class printer, uh, which actually allowed us uh, to demonstrate uh, method overloading. Yeah. So if you uh, forgot what uh, method overloading is, uh, so on the top right corner you can see a link to the video uh, where I discussed that in details. Uh, but just to refresh your memory, so method overloading referred to situation when we have uh, multiple methods uh, with the same name, like in the class printer, we have two uh, methods named uh, print, yeah, but they have uh, either different number of input arguments or a different type of input arguments, like here, yeah, so both print methods uh, have uh, one input argument or parameter, but uh, for this print method, uh, parameter type is string, and here it's int. Yeah, so that's what uh, method overloading actually mean, uh, right? So, uh, yeah, about uh, method modifiers. So first, let's discuss uh, public. Yeah, so uh, public refer. Uh, to a situation when we want to make a method publicly, uh, publicly accessible to all other uh, classes and methods. Uh, and by default, if we omit, omit uh, public, yeah, so if we just write uh, like here void print, by default it's meant that method is public meaning that method can be accessed by any other class or method. Yeah, like here, we have a class demo class defined, where we call this uh, print method, which is just void print without public. But if we launch it, we still, still can access it and we uh, print what we have here, no parameters provided. Yeah, so if we want to state that method is public, we either type public or we can just avoid that. Yeah? In practice, usually we use still public, so to explicitly highlight that method is public and it's accessible by any other method. Okay, so let's move on and uh, from public. So the opposite uh, opposite modifier is private. Uh, and private means that this particular method, if we define it with modifier private, means, means that this method is accessible only uh, uh, within this class. Yeah, so, if we have defined this method print as private, we can call it only within class printer. So, this method print is no more accessible by any other classes, right? And if we go back to our demo class, we can see now that this print method is now uh, highlighted and we have an error stating that method print from the type printer is not visible. Yeah? And the reason is that method print now is defined as private. So it can be accessed only from the printer. Yeah? So if, for example, if we try to access it from here, yeah? so from a, a 
method within class printer, yeah, it works fine, right? So if we comment that and just call that print, yeah, which also calls print, which is private, it works fine, yeah? So we print ABC and also from that print, we call method print, which uh, prints no parameter provided. Yeah? So private is accessible only within given class. No other classes can use method, which is defined as private. Yeah? Okay. And so we have public, we have private and we have another thing called protected protected and protected actually that's something in between public and private yeah? so if public allows us to access a given method from any other method uh, or class um, private allows access method only from the given class protected allows any method to access uh, any class to access this method within given package yeah so we define this print as protected meaning that we have this default package uh, that any class defined within this package can access this print yeah? so for demonstration let's define a new package test package Okay, and let's define a new class here, test class. Oh, okay, so let me also define this public static. So I'm able to launch it. Okay, so let me create a printer. A new printer. Okay, let me also 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 uh, import that printer. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, where is that? Okay, import. Oh, okay, let's change the name from refactor. Okay, where is renaming keys? Okay, we can do that here, but we can't do that here. Okay, let's do vice versa. So let's move. Uh, let's do it vice versa. So we delete that printer and we move that printer to test package. Yeah, and now we need to import that uh, printer from our package. Import as package dot print uh, dot printer. Okay, now it works fine. Uh, okay, so now printer. 
is within package test package and we have that method print defined as protected meaning that uh, this method print from class printer is accessible only within test package right so if we uncomment that printer yeah, still we can see that we have an error yeah, because method print from type printer is not visible yeah, because the method demo class is not in the package test package it's in another package yeah, but if we try to call that method print from here from class test class which is in the same package test package it will work fine okay so as you see we have it here yeah and also you can distinguish it by color yeah so green it's public and yellow it's protected yeah so we can freely call it uh, Okay, um, okay, we're not able to run it since we have here some errors. Okay, let's run it. Okay, and as you see, no parameters provided. Yeah, so meaning that print works fine since it's protected and we try to access it uh, from the class within the same package but we can't access uh, this method print as it's protected from another package yeah. and finally finally uh, let's discuss what actually uh, modifier static means yeah. so static uh, we use static uh, for methods uh, uh, defined within class for those classes which are not supposed uh, to be used for creating an object. Uh, so uh, basically we have classes and normally we create an object out of that class. Uh, for such classes, if we want to create an object out of that class, we will not define our method as being static. Uh, but for classes which are used and their methods are called without creating any object, for those we need to use a modifier static. Uh, uh, for example, for example, let's uh, define that print as being static. Uh, so that means that this uh, particular uh, that this particular method is supposed to be called directly from class printer without creating any object. Uh, and here we also have uh, a warning that static method should be accessed in a static way, meaning that we don't uh, and should not create an uh, object for calling print, yeah, but we uh, should uh, call that method directly, like that. Okay, and it works fine. Yeah, so you see the difference, right? So when we use static modifier, we are supposed to use method directly from class, but not from an object which is created uh, from the given class, right? And that's actually the answer to the question why for method main we use that static modifier. Yeah, because our class test class is supposed uh, to be uh, launched. We do not create any object out of that class. And that's why method main always is defined as static. Yeah, because from the class where main method is defined, we don't create any objects. Yeah, and that's the reason. Okay. Uh, 
So that's actually all for today, what I wanted to discuss with you. Still, if you have some questions, something is not clear, uh, just uh, drop a comment under the video. I will try to answer, yeah, to assist you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, it's the right time to do. Also, you can press like if you like that video and you found it useful. Also, don't forget to visit my website available at blog.dataguru.guide where you can find some useful posts related to big data topics, to Java or to IT and programming in general. Okay, um, but other than that, thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.